as they move on in math. And it, it's just one of those things. How do you make it fun? Just by putting music on, just by setting a tone that it's going to be fun. Or if you're working on just sixes one day, just get them to like conquer sixes in a day. Do them when they're lining up. And, you, and it's on the web, there are tons of uh, songs about math facts and uh, rhymes like, you know, six times seven, you know, pull up your socks and tie your shoes. Six times seven is 42. You know, and it's like uh, in Colorado, you can go, you know, who's John Elway? He was a Bronco. What was his number seven? It takes two John Elways to beat the San Francisco. 49ers. <laughs> so, you know, whatever works in your culture, you've got to really celebrate and make it like when little kids go off and they do, um, this is amazing to me. I watch kids do all sorts of martial arts and they love being tested, you know, and progressing. It's a real wonderful adventure. It's like, how do we take that uh, celebration of being tested and move it to where we can make being successful at math facts as much of a, you know, you get your green belt on one day and your black belt on another day. I don't know. I just think, you know, we've got to make it more fun, frankly. 